possibly be one of the biggest ones yet, if not the biggest. Got all of it. And all of this. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a massive, I mean like huge PR unboxing. I haven't done one in a while with moving house and I think it's about time that we got down to some, got in some PR out. And I've actually just remembered that there's a load more stuff in another drawer that I haven't got out to show you. So I better get that out. I think this might possibly be one of the biggest ones yet, if not the biggest. Got all of this and all of this to go through so this is going to take a little while what I'd do if I were you is um I would go and grab a coffee grab some biscuits tea hot chocolate whatever you want juice and a chocolate bar and I would sit down when you've got a little bit of time to watch this because I think this is going to be quite a long one anyway let's jump right in to that intro with a little teaser I think we should just jump right in and get started with what I've got to show you and as per usual, I have no idea where to start. So what I'm going to do is, I want to leave the links to all these companies down below. So if you see anything that you like, you can go and check them out and um, purchase them yourself if you, you know, if you want to. Uh, so the first thing that I want to talk about isn't actually necessarily PR mail, but it was a competition win. And I just thought I might as well, you know, throw it in here while we are, you know, sort of going through PR mail. Because why not? So these are the Ardell Really Re eyelashes, which look like this. These are like a sort of three quarter lash and they come with the free um, duo glue. So Really Re is a um, British, I believe she's an English YouTuber. And she created these because she had like a limited edition beauty box out. And um, they were only literally available for that beauty box. And what they've done is, I think they must have had like some leftovers, so they've done a giveaway. Um, and I got four packs of them. And yeah, they're quite pretty. I'm quite excited to give them a go and see what they look like. And I quite like the three quarter length ones, you know, just for more natural sort of everyday wear. Um, they do look nice, so I'm excited to give them a go. And I'm really glad that they've got duo lash glue in, because obviously duo lash glue is like the best glue you can use. So, yay! So next up, I've got some um, tan goodies from B Tan. I absolutely love fake tan, and I want to do a... I've been talking about this for a while, but I've been testing so many different tans out. I'm going to be doing a best tans, or like a top tans video or blog post. And this is the B Tan Fake It Till You Make It, one hour chocolate brown self tan mousse um, and it says when all you want is a natural dark tan I've heard really really like amazing things about the B tan and I'm really excited to give it a go and I also got a B tan I don't want tan on my hands tanning mate which is really cool because it's actually like a glove rather than it just being like a full mitt like there's space there for your thumb as well so I'm excited to give these a go and see what they're like sticking with the theme of tans I have got three fake tans from a company called Freshly Baked London. Now if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen the little post that I did of them. I put a picture on. Um, I haven't had a chance to use these yet. So basically what they've done is they've released a tan and obviously they do it in different um, shades. So these are all in the dark but they do different scents because obviously not everyone likes to smell like coconut or biscuit. So this is the coconut one. I mean, the packaging is just absolutely stunning. It's this sort of like rose gold, really pretty, like exotic print. So this is the coconut one. This is the watermelon one. And this is the mango one. So I'm really excited to give these a go and see what they're like because I know I say this about everything but tan, you just want to look like a bronze goddess with summer coming up. So these sound amazing and I do really like the idea of having sort of like a customisable, you know, scent option because not everyone, like I say, wants to smell of coconut so it's nice to be able to choose what you want to smell like and they do definitely smell like the things that they say they do. Thanks Freshly Baked London. Sticking with the tan, I've got some tanning goodies from Palmer's. This is their coconut oil um, formula, natural bronze, natural bronze body lotion. So this is a brand new release, just, you know, just in time for summer. So this is a gradual tan for all skin tones and it builds and maintains a natural looking tan. But it's got um, no chemicals, no parabens, no mineral oil, basically no nasties in it. So it also moisturises while giving you a tan. And then to go alongside this, they've released a coconut body scrub, which again contains no nasties. So you can obviously use this to remove your tan. So that is these. 
and I'm quite excited to try these out and see what they're like. Then I have got some teeth whitening goodies off a company called Pink Charcoal. They actually contacted me and just asked me if I would like to be sent anything and obviously I'm always up for trying new things out so I said you know why not stick something in the post and I'll give them a go and see what they're like. So this is sort of sticking with you know the whole charcoal cleaning phase. So this is a um, charcoal toothpaste but you have a day and a night toothpaste which I assume have slightly different ingredients or something um, because you, like I say you use one during the day and one during the night. So your pink ones for your day and your black ones for your night. You also get a charcoal toothbrush and the pink charcoal organic teeth whitening charcoal powder. So I'm really excited to give these a go. I've been using a Colgate whitening toothpaste at the moment and that seems to be working quite well. So it'll be quite nice to use a competitor's brand and see what this works out like. Next I've got some products from a company called Gatineau. Um, and these are a French brand that do like sort of really luxury skincare. I got familiar with them when I worked for Marks and Spencers because Marks and Spencers do stock their products um, but they do do some really really nice sort of like say skincare creams um, they are a little bit pricey but they sort of are worth what you pay for them if you like so I've got three of their products here to try out so there is the Gatineau um, Perfect Ultimate I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly sorry this is like a retexturing beauty cream but it comes in this really, really heavy glass jar. But it just looks and smells really luxurious. I'm really excited to try that out on my skin and see what it's like. And then I've got two of these tinted products. So these are part of the Perfection Ultimate range. So this is an SPF 30 anti-aging cream. This is basically like a BB cream. And this is in number 2 medium. And then I've also got the Eye Contour Cream which is you apply it from the inside corner of the eye to the external by a light tapping and it immediately immediately transforms from white to your perfect shade. It brightens and helps reduce the look of fine lines. Now, a lot of their products are sort of aimed at anti-aging, but you you know, a lot of people think that you shouldn't start using anti-aging products till you get older, but you are supposed to start using them sort of in your mid to late 20s because obviously the sooner you use them, the better the result you're gonna get. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying these out. I'm not normally a massive fan of like tinted things. I do like sort of a full coverage, but I'll give anything a go once and see what they're like. Next I've got a few bits from a company called The Dragonfly Den. Now I spotted these on Instagram and they do some really, really lovely sort of face glitters and like festival sort of like face gems and the lady contacted me and said oh look Amber how would you feel about me sending you a few bits across you know to sort of like maybe do a review or maybe a look with them to put on your page um, and then I can obviously share it type thing. So she sent me, she was kind enough to send me these lovely sort of green beautiful sort of eye gems and then she also sent me a part of this like holographic glitter but I'm really excited about this because I think I can do a really nice sort of you know festival look with it especially something you know sort of around the eyes so I'll definitely be doing some sort of festival look with those and that is from the company called the Dragonfly Den if you do want to check them out they've got their own website which will pop down below. Then I joined the Benefit affiliate program quite a while ago and lucky enough for them to get in touch with me and say to me oh look you know how do you feel about trying out some of our products so they sent me over some of their sample products for me to try and I was quite impressed to be quite honest with you know how deluxe these samples are um, and I'm quite excited to give some of them a go so the first one I've got is this um, little sample of Pawsey Bar and this is a revitalizing tinted lip balm which I think this is perfect to take on holiday 0.5 grams so it's only tiny but I just thought this is really sweet and I could definitely take this on I mean there's a tiniest amount in there but I thought for one trip on holiday that's perfect then I got a sample of the airbrush concealer it looks like this it's supposed to make the skin look really airbrushed so I'm excited to give that a go. And then I've got a little sample of the Air Patrol BB Cream Eyelid Primer. Now I have tried this a while ago when it first came out and I did quite like it. So I'm excited to give this another go and see what it's like. And all these sort of little samples are perfect for travelling with. Then I've got a Precisely Brow Pencil in number 5 which I'll probably put in my kit. I use brow pencils for doing eyebrows for my makeup artistry. 
so I'll probably stick this in my kit and use it up in my kit because I just think it's really handy for that and they're just really deluxe size samples so I'm really happy but not least I got one of the double the lip they're real benefit and um, it's sort of the lipstick and liners the ones that have like two colors in one and you can see it's got the darker bit at the top and then the lighter bit at the bottom so you've got your liner and then your lipstick and you get quite a lot of product for a sample actually so I'm excited to try those out then moving on I got I was fortunate enough to win a competition from Max Factor where I actually got their full range of the colour elixir cushion sort of like lip glosses and I've got their full range here I'm thinking about possibly doing a lip swatch video with these let me know what you think these are all like a lip gloss because obviously lip glosses are making their way back into fashion so this one is Majesty Berry I've already and they are quite um they are quite rich in colour, see that? So I've got Majesty Berry, I've got Starlight Coral, which is more of a pinky one. I've got um, Shine and Glam. I've got Nude Glory. I've got Bendosh Chick. Then there is Spotlight Sheer and Baby Star Coral. Quite a nice range of different colours here as well, so I'm really excited to try these out and sort of see what they're like. But the formula looks really nice. Next up I've got some palettes from a brand called Rembrandt London and these do some really really pretty palettes. They do remind me a little bit of the Morphe palettes but they are absolutely stunning. These are £35 each. So I've got the Pro Perfection palette which is 35B. I mean how pretty is this? And I just think these will be perfect for my kit. They're actually really good quality um, shadows as well. They don't skip or anything like that. They, they give up, give off a really good colour payoff. And this is the 3035O. This is their like newest palette. And this is like the Sunset palette. So it's got some really pretty oranges. It's got some nice sort of metallic gold. Then I was bouncing around the kitchen the other day when I got an email to say that Winky Looks wanted to work with me. Now I'm sure if you're into beauty you'll have heard of Winky Looks. I've been a massive fan of theirs for a while because they've got quite quirky products. They're just a little bit different. I've always found them quite difficult to get hold of, but I think they must now be launched in the UK or be in the UK because they've sent me over a few of their bits to try out. So the first thing I've got, I mean, can, I, can we just take a moment to, like, admire how pretty this, like, sort of floral packaging is. This is a lip velvet in the shade Heart, and obviously they're famous for their products looking sort of like pills. So it comes out like this, and then, I mean, like, can we just take a minute if that is not just one of the stunning like the most pretty stunning reds that you've ever seen then you know what i mean like that is something else and it smells really nice actually as well then i've got this really pretty um glimmer balm and this is in the shade i don't know if this has a shade actually it's just called the glimmer balm and this packaging is just look how pretty it is and look at the it's literally just a glittery iridescent balm and if you might be able to see that or not but it's just so pretty, so cute, like, I love it. Then, last but not least, because, like I say, glosses are making a comeback, I've got the Disco Kitten Gloss from Winky Lux, and this is in the shade Hustle, and this is, like, a really bright pink, like a, like a baby pink, but it's got, I don't know if you can see this, it's got so much there, it's got so much glitter in it. I don't even do gloss, but I'm, like, so tempted to keep I've actually started to get a little collection of a couple of glosses, but I don't wear them a lot because obviously when I'm with Dalton, I like to be able to give him a kiss and I can't give him a kiss if um, I end up with sort of like lip gloss all over him. So I tend to go for more matte shade, but I'm definitely going to keep hold of this one and give it a go on a couple of different lipsticks and see what it looks like. Then I think we'll move on to, I've got quite a lot of different sort of like shampoos and conditioners. So I think we'll sort of go through those ranges and them. Um, first up, I've got some goodies from Shea Moisture. They're a really nice, again, sort of natural hair company. They don't have, like, any nasties in their products, which I love, because with me having hair extensions, like I say, all of the time, I need to make sure that they're looked after, cared for, and kept in tip-top condition. So I have to be very, very careful with what I do put on my hair. So I know I can use these and there not be any issues. So this is their Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 benefit shampoo i've got the shampoo the conditioner and i've got sort of the conditioning treatment this is good for all hair types and it's got marula oil and biotin in it so it's got a blend of red raspberry ketones gorgia aqua guava um, and it's rich in anti-aging oxidants it's got natural plant peptides that support your hair's elasticity and biotin helps to nourish and um make individual strands thicker and stronger so I'm all for this. So there is the shampoo, like I say, the conditioner, which I like the fact that this is in a pump bottle and not a squirty bottle. 
and then the conditioning treatment and I'm gonna have a little sm smell of this and see what it's like. It smells very like, oh god I've just got my finger in it. it. smells very like tropical, like holidays. I really like the smell of that. So I'm really excited to give these a go and see what they're like because I love me some shampoo and conditioner. Sticking with the shampoo and conditioner theme because obviously I'm just greedy. I've got some more goodies from OGX because they just can't help but spoil me. They have got a new, I've got the little, um, I had a little wand as well with this. This is their once upon a time there is a new hair miracle range from OGX. So they're called, uh, so it says hair wishes can come true with new OGX damage remedy plus coconut miracle oil shampoo conditioner and a penetrating oil. This Tahitian inspired intensive reviving trio will help transform thick coarse chemically damaged hair into princess perfection. It's got coconut oil and vanilla bean extract um, and it's got a lux sulfate free formula which will help to calm frizz and fly away to leave hair silky smooth and full of fairy tale bounce and shine. So the shampoo and conditioners retail for $7.99 each and so does the oil and it looks like this and I mean is this not just the prettiest packaging you've ever seen? Like it's so sweet and it smells amazing but it's like sort of like a rainbow unicorny I suppose like fantasy and then this is the oil or oh, they just don't stop there do they no they don't they sent me another big parcel out which is full of their travel tastic OGX minis um for your vacay so basically they do a selection of minis they do their um hydration and coconut water renewing argan oil ever straightening brazilian keratin smooth thick and full biotin and collagen and nourishing um coconut milk all of those come in minis and they've sent me out a selection of so i've got this one which is the coconut water shampoo and conditioner i've got the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner and the argan oil shampoo and conditioner which I know I absolutely love because I have got the larger size of these but I'm going to be keeping these for taking away on holiday and then I have got the this little good vibes they sent me like a little good vibes battery charger as well that I can take away with me to sort of keep my phone charged which that's so cute like thanks so much Georgie I just like you have an no idea how much I appreciate that I will never have to buy shampoo and conditioner ever again in my life I have got more shampoo and conditioner from Mao Moisture now I'm in currently writing a um, review of their pink range I can't think of what it's called but it's absolutely insane anyway this is their strength and anti-breakage algarve range so this is good for chemically damaged hair so there is a shampoo and conditioner and this was sent to me when it was like um one of the Hawaiian holidays hence why it's got a little um got this little flower I don't even know what they're called and then it's got like a little skirt like a Hawaiian skirt on it so how cute is that right next I think I'll go through some things that I got from Fred fragrance direct now basically fragrance direct contacted me and said to me look we've got a new app launching if we give you a hundred pound to spend on the app do you want to go on and purchase some things and then give us a review of the app which is going to be coming soon so these are the products that i got with the money so i went on and chose so i picked up this la roche beginners collection 35 eyeshadow bones palette because i thought this is really handy just to throw in my kit it's got some really nice pinks and purples reds it's just got a really good range of colors and it, it was only like four pound 95 i think in the end i ended up putting like 20 pound towards it but obviously it was definitely worth it so i got this then i, I picked the hugo boss orange which is this one and this is the 75ml spray so I went for that one. I also picked the Britney Spears VIP show because it's so sweet and I absolutely love a sweet scent. This also come with a nail varnish and a um, body lotion but I don't tend to use those so unfortunately I've already unboxed that and um, passed them on to someone else but I love this. Then I also got the Hugo Boss um, Deep Red Women's Perfume in the 90ml bottle because again I really like this as well so I got that. Then I got these Marco by Design face and body glitters, which I'm actually really excited to give a play. I mean, like, how pretty are these? And these just look really cool. So, like, for instance, there's this blue one. It looks quite good. So, I'm quite excited to play around with these and see what they're like. They look like they'll be good for... I mean, they look really pretty and they look really professionally presented. They look like they'll be quite good for, like, festival looks and things like that. Then I also got, which I've already unboxed, this is the Babyliss... Dyla Heath. Basically I got myself some curlers because I can't pronounce the word. Ceramic? Ceramic, that's the word. So these are the ceramic curlers in the Dyla Heat 32 
Um, so the 32 millimeter ones and they heat up to 210 degrees and they've got 25 heat settings which look like this. I've already unboxed these because I've been curling my hair with them. Um, then last but not least, the thing that I'm most excited about, I also picked up this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lip Vault. So this has basically got all of the 30 liquid suede in that when it was released. There might be more um, colours now but at the time this was every one of the colours in the range. I mean how cool is this? So this I'm so excited about now if you would like to see a lip swatch video of this then let me know down below because I can do that I can make that happen um, I'm really excited to play around with these because there's so many colours I just love the NYX lipsticks I think they're really good so that was everything I got from Fragrance Direct and we're still not finished <laughs> then I got a really cute parcel from uh, Essence their new get your glitter on glitters so they've got loose glitters and pigments that they've launched there's quite a few different ones they've sent me a handful of them so these are the glitters there's quite a lot of different ones so there's like ones with stars and like thunder and they're just like playing gold there's like ones with like white and blue there's loads of different types of glitters which are again are really good for festival looks and they also do pigments and they're sent along one of their this is like their gold pigment in the shade copper queen so i'm really excited to give them a go then i've got a couple of bits from soap and glory because i am now a babe of glory like I can't believe it. You have to apply um, to be part of their sort of PR team, if you like, and be sent products. And I managed to get in on it, on the action, which I'm so excited about. So I've got their mini clean on me um, shower gel, which looks like this. And I also got a mini hand food, which is in the... Um, sugar crush scent which I absolutely love and I got a little pin as well which says babe of glory on it so I'm so excited about that then I've got loads of stuff from Mario Badescu and um, I contacted them to, to work with them because I do suffer quite a lot from breakouts and I wanted some skincare that was going to try and help prevent it I love my pixie but um, I want like other ranges as well as pixie to be able to talk about so they've sent me loads I mean like loads of their products to try so I've got the oil free moisturizer I've got the Hyaluronic Eye Cream, I've got the Aloe Moisturiser, the um, Special Cucumber Lotion, the Acne Facial Cleanser, the Flower and Tonic Mask and the Anti-Acne acne Serum. Then last but not least I've got the drying lotion. So I haven't really had a chance to give this stuff a go yet because with moving house and stuff I just haven't had a chance to try anything out. Um, but I'm really excited to give all of that a go and sort of see what it's like, see how it works with my skin and see what happens. And I'll obviously report back to you guys when I know but I've heard such amazing things about them. One of my friends Laura, her sister's got quite bad skin um, and she suffers like me sometimes and I know she's used some of their products and she rates them really highly so I'm excited to try them myself and see what they're like. I've then got some stuff from a brand called Protocol. These are sort of like a natural mineral cosmetic company. They also do skincare. So the first thing they sent me over is this little collagen technology triple pack which has got a face gel, a um, face scrub and a face mask in it which I'm going to keep this to actually take away with me I think because I just think this is so handy to take on holiday. Then they also do cosmetics. So I've got their baked foundation. Looks like this, which I would probably use more as a setting powder. I don't really do powder foundations for my face. I've got the mineral based primer and last but not least, the baked mineral shimmer. Then, last but not least, I've got shit tons of products from Pixie. They always spoil me. They're absolutely ridiculous. Like I'm so thankful for it and I'll go through all of these these are a couple of different press releases that they've had out so there's like a skincare one they did an eye makeup one but obviously because I've moved everything's just sort of been pushed together so the most recent one was their skin rescue essentials one this contains the glow 2 o which is a um, oxygen mask which is like a bubble mask it also had the Glow Mist, which is absolutely amazing to sort of help to set the, set the makeup, but it also gives you really pretty glowy skin. There is the Jasmine Oil Blend, which is a really nice oil. You can use this to mix your foundation, or you can just use it on your skin, which and it's got a really good healing and calming effect. And then there is also the Overnight Glow Serum, which contains glycolic acid, which is really, really good if you're a spotty, you know, a spot sufferer like me, because it helps to take away dead skin cells, which obviously in turn helps to get rid of spots. They also sent me a handful of other skincare products a while ago. So I've got the Glow Tonic To Go and I picked these because I thought these would be perfect to take on holiday with me instead of having to take my big bottle of Glow Tonic. 
I also picked out the um, rose tonic because this is quite a new release for them and I really wanted to give it a go because you're only supposed to use the glow tonic on a night because it doesn't work well with sunlight without having glycolic acid in it where this one is really good for calming the skin and it'll also be good for on holidays so I'm excited to try that one. I've also got the Glowation Day Do which is a really good sort of glowy moisturiser which I thought would be nice for days where I do just want sort of more of a natural skin day or on holidays where I don't wear a lot of makeup and then there's also the beauty sleep cream because I've just run out with my night cream and I needed a new one and this smells absolutely insane then I have got a load of their um sort of eye makeup things um I've got loads of their eye pencils there's like a um, press release which was for all their eyes so I've got loads of their eye pencils so I've got a blue a purple there's like a bronzy shade and a brown and that's their endless secret silky eye pencils which are absolutely incredible they are just so silky smooth that they're amazing they literally do what they sell on the lid and I have got a um, lash line ink which is sort of like a um, eyeliner I've got a lash lacquer primer I have got a large lash mascara a extra eye bright liner which i think is like sort of like a white liner to help open up the waterline and then i've got an eye defined waterline pencil but at least from pixie i've also got their flawless beauty primer which i absolutely love for like glowy skin anyway guys that is absolutely everything i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i need to stop letting these hauls get completely and utterly out of control but if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions, please pop them down below. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I am going to be getting on back on track and I am going to be uploading at least twice, if not three times a week. So I really appreciate you sticking with me through this sort of difficult time of mine. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>